Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Second grade. Welcome back. My name is Mrs. Fay and I'm so excited to have you join me so that we can become amazing readers and writers. And I know you guys are becoming amazing readers and amazing writers. Remember this week we're going to be focusing on our becoming amazing writers. We're working on those writing skills. But before we do that, let's start with Another book that I want to share with you guys. This is a book called Your Alien Returns. Have you read this book? I haven't, but thanks to Miss Parker, the librarian at Pio, who's recommending all these books for us this week, I got a chance to read it and boy was it funny. Now remember, if you want to read what a book is about, you can sometimes look at the back of the book or if it has a book jacket like this one, it sometimes will give you a little bit um, or tells you a little bit about what the book is going to be about. So in this case, it says, when you least expect it, something special will get your attention. Your alien will be back. He will invite you over for a play date. You will have fun on your alien's planet until you feel a little alienated. Can your out of this world best friend help you feel at home? I don't know. So does that sound like a book you'll want to read? If it does, make sure that you are checking this book out on Sora, if you have the Sora app, at your county library, or at your school library, especially if you go to Pio, that's where this book came from. All right, and make sure you guys are reading so that we can see which school in Fresno Unified will show up in our top five Sora countdown. All right, so make sure you guys are checking those books and reading because I know you guys are amazing readers. All right, and don't forget, boys and girls, um, you can also write to me here in our PBS classroom and tell me what you're learning. Tell me what books you're reading. Use the address that you see on the screen and don't forget to include your home address and or what we call your um, return address so I can send you one of these awesome fun activity books. Do you have one? You don't? Well, make sure you are writing to me or you can also email me and I'll send these book out to you. All right? Awesome. Okay. Are you ready to become amazing writers, which I know you guys are becoming? Thumbs up. Awesome. So today we're going to focus on our grammar and we're going to be focusing on our pronouns which we did yesterday. Remember, a pronoun replaces a noun. We're also going to be working on our mechanics, which is um, words that end, ends with self and self, using those correctly. And then we'll go into our genre writing, and this week we are focusing on explanatory essay. Okay, are you guys ready? Awesome job. Remember, we need to make that brain strong so that we can become Smart. You're right. You guys are so smart. Okay, let's get started. So for grammar, yesterday we talked about a pronoun, and we know that pronouns replaces a noun. Today, I'm going to focus on the pronouns me and us, and the pronoun I, okay? So the pronouns me and us can be used in the predicate part of the sentence. So when you write a sentence, right, remember you have a subject and you have the predicate. The subject is the who, the predicate is the did, what, or is what. So if you are in the predicate, which is the end of your sentence, the did, what, then we're going to use the pronouns me and us, right? So here's my, so here are some examples. Jake works with me. So ask yourself who, Jake, that's your subject, what does he do? He works with me. That's my predicate, and that's why we use me at the end. He asks us to help. Again, who? He. That's my subject. Asks us to help is my predicate, so that's why I use us in the predicate. Now, we're going to name ourselves last when we're talking about yourself and another person. So remember, when you're in the subject and you're saying um, it's Molly and you, or Molly and I, we always name ourselves last. I don't say I and Molly, okay? One of those um, grammatical rules that we need to remember when we're writing. And 
this is one thing that my second grade boys and girls always forget. Boys and girls, when you are writing the pronoun I, it always has to have a capital letter because it's a word, okay? So, now that we know how to use me and us and I correctly, let's practice with these sentences, ready? It says write I, me, we, or us to complete each sentence. So, mm, am working with Tyler, Jake, and Robin. Well, is it in the subject or in the predicate? It's asking for it in the subject, and so is it we am working? No, that doesn't make sense. Would it be I am working? Yes, that makes sense. And don't forget, I by itself needs a capital letter. Good job, I heard you. Okay, let's keep going. Number two says, Tyler asks mm to help him. Okay, so can I say Tyler asks I to help him? No, that doesn't make sense, right? Because Tyler is in my subject, asks mm to help him. That's my predicate. So what can I use? Tyler asks me to help him. You see that? Good. Okay, let's keep going. Robin and mm found the pictures. Okay, you remember when you're talking about Robin and yourself, you always use I at the end, right? So Robin and I found the pictures. How are you doing? Good. Okay, last one. Liam is working with mm too. Okay, Liam is working with us is the correct pronoun because it's in the predicate of my sentence and that makes sense. How did you do? Good job. So when you are writing, make sure that you are using our grammar rules correctly with the pronouns me, us, and I. Okay, let's go into um, our mechanics, right? This is making sure our sentence looks and um, reads correctly. So, Today, we're gonna be focusing on this as some pronouns and the predicate tells an action that a subject does for, or the subject does to itself. So the ending self is used for a singular pronoun. Here's my example. I helped myself to some mashed potatoes. Mom made them herself, okay? The ending selves, you see that with the V-E-S, is used for plural pronouns. Fred and Dave, see how there's two of them, served themselves. We, which is more than one, uh, clean the kitchen ourselves. Okay, so let's practice using self and selves in sentences. It says he typed the report and it's a he, that's by himself. So he typed the report himself, right? Good job. Now, my brother and I make mm, snack after snacks after school. So now we have my brother and I, that's more than one. So my brother and I may snack our selves. My brother and I, and I make ourselves snacks after school. How does that look? Awesome, so when you're writing, boys and girls, in your writing, make sure when you're using the self or selves, make sure you're using it correctly. Okay, now let's go into our genre writing. Remember, this week, this week we will focus on explanatory essays. So let me get my uh, poster here to help us. What is an explanatory essay? Well, it's an essay that explains a topic clearly. Okay, so when you're writing, make sure you're picking a topic that you know or you have researched because you're going to have to provide facts and definitions related to the topic. Okay, and it uses linking words to connect ideas and it ends with a concluding statement or a section. So, and yesterday I showed you guys what a four paper would look like because that's what we're looking for, right? A four paper is an excellent paper. So to do that, we're going to go through the writing process. I'm going to quickly show you um, what the writing process is and this is something that we always go through when we are writing, right? So today, we're gonna be working on the pre-writing. The pre-writing is just a brainstorming, organizing our ideas, or we're gonna be planning our writing. So we're not writing anything yet, we're just getting all of our ideas down. Now to help with my pre-writing, I'm going to have a graphic organizer to help me. And here's my graphic organizer. All it does is it has the topic that I wanna write about, it has, and then I'm gonna add three details um, that Again, provides facts and definitions related to my topic. So, I was helping a student, and guess what? This is their 
um, graphic organizer that they made. So um, Lisa was writing and she says she wanted to write about green roofs. And I went, okay, great topic. She knew a lot about green roofs. So that's her main topic. And then we were thinking about details about green roofs. And then she gave me some great details. She said that green roofs are covered with live plants. So they're not just color and green, they're called green roofs because they're covered with live plants. And I went, that's a great detail. Did it relate to her topic? Yes, it did. And then she also told me, because she was researching, because she knows about green roofs, she said that there are many benefits, like keeping the building cool and it saves on electricity. And so I thought, and so we, and when I asked her, does that fact relate to your topic? Yes, it does. And so we were thinking of a third detail. And so she said, well, did you know that the green roof, roofs gives animals a place to live and it helps the environment? And I went, that's a really good facts about green roofs. So now that we have all of our facts on our topic down, the next step would be for Lisa to draft. So I'm gonna pull my writing, writing process back again. So now she's gonna get ready to draft her writing, okay? So what does drafting mean? You're gonna use your sentences and your paragraph, you're gonna write your first copy, right? Now, after we write our first copy, we're going to go to revising and our editing. Remember, that's how we're really learning those grammar, to really focus on reading the sentences to make sure that our paragraph make, makes sense, and then we're going to add, remove, or change to make it better. Revising is fixing our spelling errors, capitalization, and punctuation. That's how we work with mechanics. And then finally, we're gonna to get to publishing, which is typing or writing a final copy. We're gonna be as neat as possible, and then we get to share. So right now, we are on the pre-writing. We're just getting all of our ideas down, okay? So at home, um, yesterday, didn't have time, and I forgot to share with you guys. I wanted you guys to think about a topic that you wanna write about. Today, I want you to start your graphic organizer with a topic and add your facts. Now, if you need to research your details or your facts, make sure that you are researching it so that they are factual facts, right? We're not writing an opinion, but we're giving details and facts to a topic, all right? So don't um, forget to come back tomorrow because we're gonna go on to our next step in our writing process and we're gonna draft this um, essay that Lisa's gonna write now that she has her topic and her details, all right? And then we're gonna continue working on our grammar and mechanics so that when we work on our revising and our editing, it will all come together, all right? You guys are doing such a great job, boys and girls. Have a great day learning. I'll see you back here in our PBS classroom tomorrow, okay? And don't forget, if you're reading a good book, make sure that you are writing to me and letting me know all about it, all right? Have a great day, bye-bye.